When you went on your, your whole God quest. God quest. That's what I called it in my head. When you left without telling me, um, a part of me was relieved. This tiny part of me exhaled because I thought you would you would go to the woods and you would you know talk to a priest or a shaman and 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 pray to something or someone and you would come back with some answers. You would come back like yourself. But instead I came back with more questions. And you took those questions to other women. Ah uh, I spent most of my life being five steps ahead of everyone else, and nobody wants to be friends with that girl, okay? That girl does not have any dates or fights. And she doesn't learn how to fight. I learned calculus in grade school. I learned coronary bypass when I was 20. I never learned how to really love or fight or really let somebody in without it feeling like it was going to be the end of the world. And you have been married and divorced, and you have a child, and you've lost a child, and you are five steps ahead of me, and I don't know how to catch up. Um, you said that you told Kate about what you'd lost. Yeah, um, that's mess messy, you know, pretty complicated, Maggie. Try me. Okay. The one thing that April and I could never see eye to eye on was God. She believed and I never could. And now that I do, now that I really do, it's too late. She's married, she's happy with someone else. You said that you were happy for her. You said that a lot of times. I am, I am happy for her. I would never do anything to take that away from her. I am uh, grieving. Uh, I'm grieving what we both lost. I want my daughter lost. <sighs> the bad timing. And I love you. I really love you. That's all true and all a little messy. And I just. I didn't know how to talk to you about it. On your way back in. And I, I, was wrong about you. Was wrong about you. No, don't. Maggie, please don't. Don't leave. What, I can't. I am. This. Oh. I can't.